Local tonight, it is a Memorial Weekend tradition, still going strong after 29 years. Celebrate De Pere kicked off tonight at a brand new location. Local 5's Robin Ogenya was there as the start of the weekend got underway. She joins us live in the studio with more. Robin? Aaron Tom Celebrate De Pere is a four day long event that allows the community to have some fun, commemorate Memorial Day, and give back to local charities. And now that it has a new place to call home, organizers are hoping it will only grow stronger. <laughs> celebrate De Pere isn't just a celebration of one city in our area, but a celebration of community. I'm from Wrightstown, so yeah, fairly close. It's nice to see big events like that close to home. Celebrate De Pere's roots began at Voyager Park, but those roots needed more room to grow after the park became too small. The trees are getting big and they're planting new trees, and it was starting to limit our growth. So right across the river was a, a diamond in the rough for us and a park that we can start to grow in with lots of room for us to spread our wings and start to grow um, and give us an opportunity to bring in some really new features that we haven't had before. And the rides, the food, the entertainment, it can't be beat. I just like seeing the kids all happy and just, you know, having fun. Um, the kids enjoy going on the rides and we like just getting out. <laughs> And again, the festival falls during the time of year many set aside to pay respect to our veterans. This is a, a very important weekend of the year, so you know, we, we do take time on Monday to remember the heroes that have, have gone and given the ultimate sacrifice. Since Celebrate De Pere began, the festival has been able to give back more than $2.5 million to local charities. In the studio, Robin Oguenye, Local 5 News.